Hey, what's up everyone? Tedrick85 here with some more fun with FIFA 10. And this match is going to feature Borussia Mönchengladbach vs Hanover. Now, it's been a while since I did a German Bundesliga match, so I figured I'd do this one. And since I played against Borussia Mönchengladbach in one of my early videos when I played as Borussia Dortmund, I thought I'd play with as them this time because not only are they a decent team to play as, but they are also in this year's uh, UEFA Champions League, uh, like I had mentioned in my earlier video when I played against them. And uh, I figured I'd play against Hanover, and uh, as you can see, they possess a tendency to for counter-attacking football. They utilize the abilities of Erto Serbiak as target man, which you're going to find out that uh, Jan Schlaudraff is more of a target man than what Serbiak is, and possess they possess a strong pressing defensive mentality. Now, this is... I know in real life that they've been struggling in the Bundesliga, but this is one team you really don't want to mess around with in this game, because they can be quite potent, especially on the, on the offense. And it's even though it says that they have a strong defensive mentality, they can hurt you real bad on the counterattack, so make sure you watch out for them. I always like these beginning scenes like th like this. I think they're pretty cool. No striker Mike Hanker for Munching Gladbach. And in this game, I decided to play a 4 4 2 uh, formation, much like Hanover does. You can see Mike Hanker and Raphael up front. And Fabian Johnson out on the right wing there. As you can see, Hanover. Um. Oh, Sobiak's not even in the starting lineup. I didn't even realize that. See, it did that before with Huddersfield Town. It's, we saw about Jermaine Beckford and. Beckford wasn't even on uh, the starting lineup. He was in the bench too. I, I I don't know how that works, but I see Mike Hanka starting things off right off the bat to Munchen Gladbach. I like a celebration dance there. I think it's pretty cool. Good shot there in the far right corner there. Hanover is one of, the, one of those teams you have to watch out for because they have no problem beating you in the midfield battle. See Raphael trying to make something happen there. Quite a weak chi chip shot there. Rob Anka is equal to the task, which I should say for those of you that don't know, Rob Anka committed suicide several years ago. Uh, pretty young guy too, I forget how old he was, but he was just in the top of his game and he ended up getting depressed and ended up taking his own life, sadly, so... And I figured in commemoration of that, I'd have him as the starting goalkeeper for Hanover here. In this game. I see Hanka making things look easy there. Mentally as much as anything, get the two goal he doesn't have to help you. Helps you the pitch of the One thing I should say about Munchen Gladbach is that... They started off the Bundesliga season with five straight losses. They end up having to fire their manager, Lucci and Favre, but since then, they've won six of the last seven games and have been undefeated in those games. Not to mention that they, the home and away games that they played against Juventus in the Champions League, they didn't lose to either time. They settled for two draws against a top team like Juventus, which finished as runners up in that competition, so... You can definitely tell that Munchen Gladbach is definitely getting better, and they're not all that far away from an automatic Champions League spot because of it. Oh, gifted back to the really. As you can see, there was a nice interception there by Munchen Gladbach, although they weren't able to get much happening there. Hanka once again with the starting the counter attack here. As you can see, he gets the hat trick already. It's already three nothing, Munchen Gladbach. You need to know where to go, you need to know where to be. When the ball arrives, you need to know how to finish. And like before, I'm not even going to play the replay all that long. I figure these videos are long enough not waste too much time on them. As you can see, Cherundolo, the uh, American international, playing as right back from uh, Hanover. Hank is showing good strength there, uh, pushing off that uh, Hanover defender. 
Again, not a very good shot. But uh, you see Fabian Johnson, another American in the national. Used to play for Hoffenheim. Good tackle, though, stopped Schlaudraff. And Schlaudraff's one of those players that I have... I don't know what it is, but it seems like every time I play against him, he always seems to score against me. And as you can see, Hanover gets caught off sides, which... That was pretty blatant, though. That was definitely offside. Box. Raphael. Gone round the map with ease. Clear of the defense. Real Raphael trying to get something going here. And a decent shot there. Kind of similar to Hanker's first goal, but on the opposite side. And it's quite a good goal, considering he really didn't have that good of an angle to shoot at him. And he's had uh, opportunities in the past, so it is nice to see him score a goal at least once here. See Schlaudraff trying to make something happen here. And that is one bad thing I do have to say about this game. I don't know what kind of drug uh, this Monching Gladbach uh, goalkeeper is on, but he made some really silly decisions, and that's one right there, especially against a striker as good as what Schladroff is in this game. Yeah, that was just an idiotic play by by uh, Vaca there. Yeah, it's one thing to lose a clean sheet, but to lose a clean sheet over something stupid like that... I know, that really didn't make me too happy. Anka trying to make something happen there. Trying to force a corner kick there, but right, Anka happened to be right there to collect the ball. I think the defender's got lucky there. He's only just offside. Okay, I'd like to know what planet that was offside on. He wasn't even close to being offsides there. Anka. Yeah, that was definitely one where I was that left me scratching my head because that should not have been called offside. Raphael. See Raphael starting the counter attack here. A nice goal there, even though it hit the post. But in, considering he's a midfielder, Yancha showed some a nice uh, finishing there. Just like that, Gladback restores their four goal advantage. Hanover trying to press into my box here. Good job by Gladback uh, defense there, closing him in, not giving him a whole lot of options. Hanko once again. Boy, is he a good striker. I'm so glad he's on this Gladback team. And very unlucky, though, not to score again there. Would have been his fourth of the match, but... I noticed in the last part of the first half, I started getting really unlucky, especially with that offside. I'm still scratching my head about that. I mean, that was not even close. But anyway, Juan Fernando Arango with the corner kick here, which... That actually should have been a foul, so that's another thing that this game kind of ripped me off on, but... Oh, well. This game isn't won by bad ref calls, the game's won by how many goals you score. And so far, I seem to, I have that advantage 5-1 to one against Hanover. Once again, a brilliant opening goal by Hanka there. No assists on 5 goals, 11 total shots. Not a bad first half. As we begin the second half here, you can see Hanover trying to make something happen here. Which traditionally, I start off second half really slow, and as you can see, there's a bad foul right there. See Mario Egerman trying to make something happen here. Good job, well, good job on the defense disarming him, but at the same time not getting a ball, not showing enough hustle. No doubt about that, it's a goal kick. Luckily, that was not a corner kick, that was a goal kick because the Hanover guy did touch the ball last, so... I kind of lucked out there for once. Martin Stranzel with the ball. Fabian Johnson trying to make something happen. 
He's not an easy man nice ball control ball here. He's in here. Nice. And see Raphael not quite getting that touch in. Oh, so that probably would have been a sixth goal. Going nowhere fast at the moment. Hanover trying to make something happen again. Johnson passing it to Raphael. And Raphael tries to get it in, but Anko was right there to save that ball. Mango showing a little bit of fatigue there. Trying to make something happen in the corner there, which Hanka ends up heading the ball right to Anka. Here comes Schlaudrap, and look how wide open he is. Okay, look. now watch this. Watch this. <sighs> no, uh, you know, I know this is post commentary, but it just makes me just as angry seeing that the second time through. He did the exact same thing he did before, all over again. You know, it's one thing you commit one penalty over something stupid. Let's try and never get another by doing the exact same thing. Look at this. He has to be like the worst goalkeeper ever. So at this point, I decided, you know what? You don't even deserve to be on here anymore. So I just figured I was going to sub him and put Christoph Heimer off. Which I probably should have put him in there to begin with. I might as well make another substitution here, uh, take off Hanka and put in D Camargo, which I really should have subbed off Arango of too, but I decided not to. But Demo Vaca, I don't know what on earth he was thinking during those two penalty calls, but that did not make me happy whatsoever. So now that I go back to only having a three goal cushion, yeah, I don't know why you're clapping. You're freaking pathetic. When is someone that can actually get the job done? Arango with a corner again. And there's another one of those things like I had with Celta Vigo, which I should have buried it, but I ended up not, so that... The good thing is I get another opportunity here. And De Camargo, which is the almost like a super sub here. Nice celebration here to make it enough a 6-2 game and restoring that four goal cushion. But yeah, since I uh, subs uh, subs yeah, let's try that again in English. <laughs> Since I substituted a goalie, I really ended up not having very many problems in, in that department, at least. But yet, yeah, why... Why did he do that? I mean, those two goals that he let in were completely unnecessary. He would just use his brains a little bit. And Abdallaway, I don't know what on earth he was thinking. <laughs> Thank God that was not Schlaudroff. Box. Okay. Thorben Marks was a, is a player I don't really talk about, but him and Jansha did the job in midfield, which I can't complain about that. Anka very nearly let that one slip, and as you can see, he ends up committing the, or should I say, uh, allowing the corner kick here. I have to how many corner kicks I have now. And Raphael forcing another corner, bringing pressure on Anka. Strandle really should have done a better job with that one. Raphael once again leading the charge. Really could have done a better job there. I was kind of disappointed with his performance in this game, but... Definitely wasn't as bad as the goalkeeper. That was too far away. Have to come up with something better than that. Okay, Schladraff once again showing how dangerous he is in the counter attack. He only has to keep it a beat. De Camargo with a shot here or De Camargo, however you want to pronounce it. Sure how the keeper saved that. The striker should have scored. Now, what can they do with this corner? Arango once again delivering the free kick, or, excuse me, corner kick, and once again completely hoofing that and a wasted opportunity. 
Getting close to the end of the second half, and it's still 6-2 to Mönchengladbach. Vent trying to make something happen, though, which he did luckily. Uh, Schladbach probably would have got a, a chance at a hat-trick. Tell you what, if Vaca was still in there, he probably would have given him the hat-trick. I see Dima Kamago ends up hitting the post and ends up getting in the rebound anyway. And that was just a poor effort by Robert Anka in that goal, and it ends up being 7-2 Gladbach now. Schladrath, once again, leading the attack to Hanover. As you can see, there's no settling down for me. I'm trying to get as many goals here as I possibly can. De Camargo, once again, leading the charge. Trying to get it to Thorben Merckx there, but Hanover was equal to the task there. De Camargo muscling his way through the Hanover defense there. Good job on his part. Chirondolo trying to make something happen there, but once again, Monchen Gladbach wins the ball. And four minutes of stoppage time being added on. Let's see, there's uh, four minutes of extra time and bad foul there on Monchen Gladbach. He's rattled into him. So much so he's Gansha, I don't know what he was trying to do here. He's awarded a free kick. No cards are shown. Okay. Hanover trying to make one last thing happen before the game ends. Which I was lucky I didn't get called for a foul there, which th it wasn't a foul, but I've seen this game call me for a foul permitting much less, so I was kind of surprised at that. And as you can see, De Camargo ends up getting his hat trick just coming off the bench in this game. And he makes it 8 2 Monchen Gladbach. You see, nice finish there. Not much longer left in this game. Yep, I kind of thought I didn't have much time left, and uh, and that's pretty much the game. And as you can see, Slavraff getting both goals for Hanover due to penalties. You see, Hanka with the hat trick, and De Camargo with the hat trick. And and I will see you again soon. See, one assist, 58% uh, possession. That's not too bad. 85% passing as opposed to 73% for Hanover. Let me see who my assist was from. Thorben Marks. Okay. I'd say between De Camargo and uh, Mike Hanker, those were probably my two best uh, players in this game, so. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video, so thank you guys so much for watching this, and I will see you guys again next time.